welcome to TFI quick tip time very quick one this is project 3d sketch which you'll find in the 2d sketch environment so I've got a work plane here sort of floating off of an IPT and what I'm going to do is knock down a 2d sketch onto this plane and draw anything you can draw anything it can be a line it can be an open profile a closed profile out you want so I'll just draw a circle of uh, let's say the 12 mil variety and then on the sketch panel right where you would find project geometry here if you select the drop down arrow underneath project geometry you've got this option here called project to 3d sketch it's been in there for a couple of years and it, it doesn't do something it does something which you can do in a different way but it's just a more con well, it's a, it's, a, it's a arguably more convenient way of doing something anyway so what you do is you select projected 3d sketch and you don't have many options here it's going to project everything in your current sketch onto a face of your choosing. So if I select this face here, right, which is this face here, it it takes that circle and it projects it out from the sketch, right? So it goes sort of normal to that sketch and then where that circle would touch that face. So if we just sort of line it up there, you can see it's projected the circle through the, the, the curved face and it's drawn a little sort of silhouette type curve uh, of the edges of that circle on that face it's pretty much all it does you don't have much more options beyond that <laughs> that's pretty much it click ok and then now what happens right so we're currently in sketch 5 is when you select finish sketch it creates 3d sketch 1 and it puts that line that is projected into a 3d sketch which exists after your 2d sketch and that's it <laughs> that's pretty much it what would you do next with it what would you do with this well, not a lot really. You can use it. You can use that as a sweep path, maybe, or you can use it as a split line. So you could take that line there and split that face, and then don't know, you know, sort of do something like that. Maybe I don't know. It's it's up to you. It's up to you what you would do next with it. But it's an adaptive. It's an adaptive profile as well. So if you take the circle and kind of move it, and then click update, so that moves with it. So that's all fine. That's all fine. It's all good. It's all good, right? Yes, you could have done this without using projected 3D sketch. So I'll show you how you would do it without doing the uh, projected 3D sketch. This is the alternative way. What you would do is you would start a new 3D sketch, select project a surface, pick the face you want to project onto, select the curves arrow, pick the... So you got, you've got more control if you do it this way. You can actually pick and choose the lines that you want to project onto the face, whereas you couldn't in the first method. And then select OK. And then it's done the exact same thing, absolutely, well, pretty much the exact same thing, just going about it a different way. And then you can use that to split the face, exactly the same end result, complete the same end result. And that is also adaptive as well in the same way as the other one was. And that is, that's it, that's it. That's all there is to it, Project the 3D Sketch. Nice little tool, nice to know about, not something you'll use on the regular, but it's nice to know about for when you need it. All right, and that'll do for this video. Tarry much, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.